In the previous tutorial, we have covered Euclidean distance and we have also covered clustering analysis. So basically, we have, we have also seen that how clusters are made uh, basis, on the basis of similarity and dissimilarity. And now we also have measure to calculate the similarity and dissimilarity using Euclidean distance or Minkowski distance. Now we are going to study different types of clustering that are available to us and basically uh, we will start them by uh, using a versus uh, differentiation. For example, first one is the partitional versus hierarchical clustering, right? So in this manner, we will uh, learn different types of clustering. And the first type you can see is the partitional clustering and we will see how it is different from hierarchical clustering. There are some more clustering um, methods which are exclusive clustering or uh, partial clustering. We will study them one by one. In this tutorial, we will study about partitional versus hierarchical clustering. Now, both of these clustering methods are uh, very popular, but the partitional clustering is most commonly used. So let's start with the partitional clustering first. What is partitional clustering? Now in partitional clustering, we say that if we have a data set of n objects in partitional clustering, we have data, let's say with d objects. What we do is we divide these d objects into some partitions into partitions. So basically what we try to do is we have a, a set of uh, data objects and what we try to do is we divide them into patterns, right? So for example, if I have some data set or let's say these are the data points, and what I'm just going to do is these are, this is a whole data set of D points. Let's say these are the D objects. And let's suppose on this axis and this axis, we have the features, right? So a partitional clustering algorithm, right? So there are different types of clustering. So we have different types of clustering algorithms to perform them, right? So in partitional clustering, these are the D objects. What I what a partitional algorithm will do, it will try to form or divide these D objects into K clusters or K partitions into partitions, right? So you can see these are the data points that we have, and now they are divided in three clusters. There can be some more clusters or less clusters, but the simple idea is to divide the d objects into partitions now one more co common algorithm that is available that does this partitioning is known as the k-means clustering algorithm and we will watch we in the future tutorials we will uh, see how to do k-means clustering well k-means means that we will divide the d objects into k clusters right so here you can see in this example k is equals to 3 so we will develop a clustering algorithm we will just give the whole data set to the algorithm and the data algorithm will automatically create these types of clusters i will just supply the value of k and it will divide it into clusters now the idea is that uh, in uh, we just choose some three points if the value is k in k means clustering we just choose some points which are also called as centroids. For example, I choose three points here. Now these points which are the centroids are used to calculate the Euclidean distance from various objects and in this manner we try to develop clusters. Although we will uh, see k-means clustering in detail in the further coming tutorials. So now the next type of clustering is the hierarchical clustering. hierarchical clustering. Now in hierarchical clustering, 
we have a cluster we have a data objects let's say we have d data objects let's suppose this is my data right and these are the features on these two axes so what i try to do is in hierarchical clustering is to build a hierarchy hierarchy means that first i will say that okay this is my single cluster this whole cluster is my single cluster inside this cluster i make some more clusters in it for example this is one cluster and let's say this is one cluster and then again this is one cluster right and within these clusters we can make some more clusters like this can be one cluster and this can be one cluster and this can go on and on like this so basically hierarchical clustering is also a type of nested clustering which means the clusters are nested inside different clusters right in partitional clustering we also call it as unnested clustering now in this type of clustering which is hierarchical clustering what we do is we try to build a tree or we call it more oftenly as a dendrogram we try to build a dendrogram which represents the hierarchy of the clustering for example this cluster the big cluster is a cluster a let's say this is the big cluster a i will write a here and then i will divide it into three branches because inside this big cluster we have three more clusters so let me use some different color to display those now this is my first cluster you can see and this is the second cluster and this whole one is the third cluster so i call these clusters by some different names like b c and d so now i will write b here then i will write c here and like d here now you can see the D cluster has some more clusters in it, right? So this is the first cluster which we have inside D and this is the second cluster. Let's name it as E and F, E and F. So then again, I will write some, I will create another hierarchy E and F. Now in this manner, uh, this hierarchy can be uh, very big also like it can go on something like this this and this uh, from every cluster it can go like this right so these are basically represented using dendrograms and uh, dendrograms are is just a way to show the hierarchical clustering it has some all some more applications in different uh, uh, fields but here we are just concerned about hierarchical clustering. Now in the next tutorial, we will study uh, some more types of clustering. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.